Only on Fox 5, Prince George's County Police investigating an attack at a middle school in Landover. The victim just 11 years old. And her mother speaking to Fox 5, and we're getting our look at the video. Tisha Lewis standing by live from Landover with this Fox 5 exclusive. Well, the video, the encounter, all disturbing to say the least. Prince George's County Police telling Fox 5 that they are looking into it. Even so, they also tell us that they were never contacted by the school about this particular incident. They do tell us the school is handling it, and due to the age of the victim, police could provide no further comment. The victim's mother says she did press charges with police in the juvenile commissioner's office, who she says then directed her, redirected her back to the school resource officer, and there is a stay-away order in place. Here's the video of the victim's mother. Tanisha Johnson sent us. It's difficult to watch. We're told the victim is in sixth grade and recovering with neck and back pain tonight. Her mother says she's been bullied since school started a month ago here at G. James Golson Middle School. Johnson says the child being attacked is her daughter. You can see the 11-year-old being kicked and punched by a female student. Seconds later, a male student jumps in and the beating continues. The violent encounter took place a week ago today and the 11-year-old victim has not been back to school since. Johnson tells Fox 5 her daughter did not know the attackers. The most that I've got from, gotten from them was we can't disclose the disciplinary actions that we took with the other child. We can just tell you that we took action. And so I'm just supposed to be okay with that. And I can't be concerned about my child coming to school and have to deal with retaliation. In a letter emailed to Johnson, Prince George's County Public Schools says their security team reviewed the footage in that video and they are essentially talking about disciplinary action but not giving us specifics on that disciplinary action. Uh, we're told, though, it is taking place. Meanwhile, the victim involved in this particular incident, we're told she's looking to transfer schools. Her mother telling Fox 5 that that is in the best interest and the safety for her child.